We are very lucky to have with us two ambassadors for Prof. Tulima Donzela's M Plan for Social Justice, Temba Siyisi and Lonelo Lutuli. It's good to see you again, guys. Good, good to, to be, be here. <laughs> So let's see what Prof Tuli told us about the power of the youth vote. What are your thoughts about our upcoming elections? How do we encourage young people to say, yes, it's important to vote? Is it important? What are your thoughts? Democracy is what we make of it. Properly understood is about power to the people. Demos, people. Kratos is power. This is a Greek word. My advice to young people is use, for example, days like Human Rights Day to ask political parties to come to your terrain and you determine what future do you want for yourselves, and you ask the political parties, which of you is going to make sure that it takes this agenda for change and implements it? Instead of the political parties setting the agenda, let young people set the agenda. And they can, because everyone wants your vote. Wow. I hope Political Aware fans are listening, because I think you're dropping so much wisdom right now. We were chatting to Lester earlier about other ways young people engage with politics in South Africa, aside from the ballot box. That being said, I know you two are working on a very interesting campaign called Dear Presidents. Can okay. you please tell us what is that about? Dear Presidents is a campaign to inspire young people to participate in democracy. So we're getting young people to write letters to the different political parties, asking to reconcile social justice and the election manifestos. So this is what you say in your manifesto, but these are the challenges that I'm faced with as a young person. We're getting young people to demand accountability and to demand the political parties to work with them to make democracy work. So that's what we're doing, getting young people to write letters. What's very special about the project is that we're getting opinions and we're getting the views of young people in their communities. It's no longer a matter of the broad situation in South Africa. It's a young person from this ward telling you about what's happening in their district, telling you about what they're seeing and asking their leaders. And some of them have been very specific about the specific leader that they're talking to mm. and telling them, here's what's wrong and I want you to fix it. And, and what has the response been like? Are people writing these letters? Mm, not really, but <laughs> we know young people. <laughs> okay, I mean, surely one must have written Yes, a we've got about 20, 30 letters, but uh -huh. we're working on a strategy to meet young people halfway. Young people love social media, so we're going to go into the 377 municipalities with wow. our cameras and say, let's talk. Yeah. And then we will transcribe that into a letter, which we will present to the mm. political leader. Okay, so I assume you've seen these letters. On average, yes. wh what are they saying? What are people writing? writing in these letters? Unemployment. Mm -hmm. Okay. People are talking about unemployment, people are talking about violence in their communities, people are talking about corruption, that's come up a lot as well, and of course land. Land mm. has come up as well. So we've really seen in this episode that the youth have become disengaged from the election process. So Lester, do you think this could be related to our electoral system? People are, do get a bit jaded, uh, feeling that they're not engaged, they're not participating actively in this process, especially if we're talking about a, a list process where people may not uh, be, uh, they may not be happy with who appears on, the, on that list. But my answer to that is, if you are then unhappy with a particular people on a political list, that don't just get involved in uh, national politics, get involved in party politics if that mm. is your thing. Join a political party so that you can have engagement so you can add your voice. I do agree with you Lester but also it feels as if our voices aren't being heard. It feels as if people get into parliament and then uh, we have to wait five years before we can tell them how we feel. I would hope that there would be some sort of mechanism that would allow for an element of direct democracy in, in terms of holding specific leaders accountable within political parties instead of having to wait for political parties to do it themselves because as we can see uh, they're taking their own time in doing that and that's also leading to a lack of credibility that we're finding as the youth and as as new voters because I'm also this is going to be my first time voting so how do we stay uh, engaged after democracy is write the letter to the president <laughs>